hello. Um, I wanted to talk about two things I've been doing. Well, two things. Um, WordPress. Like I started writing um, a story online at WordPress, and it's been heaps of fun. Like the last, I think I've been doing it for the last week or so. And um, yeah, yeah. I've always wanted like for the last, um, you know, or oh, even close to 10 years maybe, I've wanted to like write a novel and have it published and stuff but um, the problem with that was um, when I was writing that way I kept thinking, um, oh you know, it kind of made me, it's not fun for me to write because I kept thinking like, um, um, you know, would this get published or when I'm writing I'm thinking, oh I hope this is successful and all that stuff and you know, it made it not fun for me and um, yeah, it just didn't feel like I was writing, you know, for the love of writing. Um, and just re very recently I got the idea of um, um, going to a site like wordpress.com and just um, typing out a story, you know, like bit by bit as I write it and just putting it online and, um, and not like worrying about publishing or anything like that, like just doing it for fun. And I've been doing it and it's, um, I'm having such a great time, like it's the, like the best um, time I've had with writing f since I was like a little kid, like you know, because I always remember when I was a little kid, like um, in primary school, um, the teachers um, got us to write like stories and you know, um, publish them, not publish them, but like um, we'd, we had a binder like at school, um, and those things with the spirals, whatever. And we'd make little uh, book books, um, draw pictures in them, and either handwrite or print out, you know, the text for the storyline. And you know, every kid would just like make stories, and you could leave them on the shelf. And at silent reading time after lunch, kids would just grab each other's books and just read their stories. And um, that's like the most fun writing I, I've had, you know, and um, what I'm doing now this week with WordPress it's kind of like very similar to that feeling, like just writing for the, the sake of writing and it's so good. Yeah, I wouldn't want to write any other way. It's so good um, and it's been fun like uh, firstly, at first I didn't know how to use WordPress and just the last couple of days I've been kind of fiddling around with it, googling and stuff and and just this morning I tried out different themes because you can get different themes with WordPress like you know colour schemes and headings and stuff it's just choose different themes and I found one out of like 115 um, themes like that I really really like so now I'm even just loading up the website looking at it just like enjoying how it looks like I've written four chapters or four scenes so far and um, yeah I really like what I've written it was fun to write and stuff um, yeah, so I really intend to finish the story because often um, I write stories and like the way I was writing previously, um, I start off really well and then the pressure of thinking of, um, oh, I want to finish it quickly so it's published, blah, 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 you know, it kind of just um, made it not fun, but the way I'm doing it now, I think it's, it's fine, like I'm having a great time and yeah, just doing it just so that, um, that so, oh, because I've, yeah, like, it just, like the storyline I'm doing, um, I've had the idea for it for a long time, but I never really, like I've never finished it, and um, yeah, for myself I'm just curious how the story will end, I, I know how I want it to end, but you know, it always goes different ways, but um, oh yeah, so I'm going to put a little link in the info box, or might make like a little clicky thing on the screen, so that if you want to read the story that I'm writing, you can click on it and check it out. Um, I think the type of story is going to be like an adventure story. Um, like I call it fantasy adventure, but um, I found um, I'm probably not going to put too, I'm probably not going to put too much magic in the story because I found that the last time I wrote a story that had a lot of magic, it just was too easy, I found, too easy for everyone to like travel around quickly and everything could be done with magic so I want to have it just the, the very minimal magic and just maybe one or two things that's magic and also I want to have it so that in the storyline they're kind of like um, when they fight it's like um, you know um, most people maybe a lot of people don't know but 
stuff like um, the stories that Louis Cha or his other name is Jin Yong, Jin Yong, he's a Chinese writer. He wrote this series called um, Legend of the Condor Heroes, Return of the Condor Heroes, and many many others. And he's really really good writer. Like when I read translations of his stories online, they were the best stories of like it's like um, the best. Like um, Tani didn't describe how. I think much enjoyed it. Like I was reading up to four a.m. in the morning. I couldn't stop. It was so good. Uh, yeah, so good. Uh, um, I love his stories, and um, yeah, I kind of want the story that I'm writing when they're fighting to have like that kind of martial arts kung fu kind of um, stuff, you know, going on. Hopefully, but I don't know. Maybe the story won't go that way, but it'd be nice if it did. Um, Yes, yeah, so I'm having a very good time doing this WordPress and writing stories online. And another thing I like about putting it online is um, in the the way I was writing before, I'd write my um, my story, and no one, none of my friends would get to read it, you know, because when you're writing like that, you you don't feel like what well, for me, I didn't feel like um, it letting them read it yet until I'd like gotten a good or whatever, and you know. Um, yeah, um, yeah, because when you're writing, I don't know, but this way it's like it's already out there. Like I, I write the scene and I just put it, put it on the net on on my WordPress blog, and um, it's out there. And now, if any of my friends um, ask, like, can I read the story? Which sometimes they do every now and then. I can go, oh, here's the link. It's a short link. They can just read it, check it out if they want to. Um, yeah, so it's nice that they can read it as I'm writing it, and also, yeah, be, it's nice to yeah, just do it live like that. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably all I want to say about that topic. I'll make another video about the live journal thing. Oh yeah, uh, if you do read the story, I um, hope you enjoy it.